This is Cecilia. She is eight years old and she is in second year of elementary school. These are Cecilia's parents. They all live together in a nice house in East Palo Alto with a mailbox outside. These are Cecilia's grandparents. They live in Mexico, a couple of thousand miles away from East Palo Alto. This is Noah. He is Cecilia's teacher in the East Palo Alto Charter School. This is Noah after class. Being a teacher is a very creative job and he's now trying to figure out what to do in tomorrow's class. This is Noah on Thursday evening. He is still trying to figure out what to do. He thinks that a rocket might be a good idea, but he's not sure on how to do it, whether it will work or not, etc. He feels very lonely in this creative work. This is Noah on Thursday night, late at night. He is burned out, and he's still not sure if what he thought is a good idea. This is Cecilia next morning, on her way to school. This is Cecilia's classroom, where she is all day learning and, more than anything, doing stuff. On Monday, she made poems and drawings. On Tuesday, she made a shield like those that the Miwok culture used to have in Tamales Bay. On Wednesday, she made a plastic model of a lion. On Thursday, she made a play with her classmates. And on Friday, she made the rocket that Noah's envisioned last night. She loves what she's doing, and she's very proud of her work. She goes back home with all these stories in her mind, and when she gets there, she, of course, tells them to her father in her own unique fashion. That, uh, uh, in class, and Noah made a rock, the rocket and the rocket and I made a rocket with a lion, no, the rocket, the rocket went to the moon, and then the lion was in the moon, and there was a shield, and the, and the rocket came back from the moon, and, and... However, as we know, at this age, kids are not good at telling coherent stories. Her father has no idea what she's saying. So Cecilia does what she does best, just grabs her father and shows him what she did. In this case, she shows her dad the rocket launcher she made in the backyard of her house, that is ready to launch the rocket she made at school. Sometimes, Cecilia does bring something home, like this time she brought a drawing. She shows it to her mom. Look, mom, this is the blueprint for my rocket. The mom says, it is so beautiful. I never seen a rocket this nice. We we'll put it in the fridge so that everybody gets to see it. However, how big can a fridge be? Cecilia's grandparents only speak with her once a week because they still think phone calls are very expensive. Here they are on Friday, waiting for the phone to ring. Finally, the phone rings and they can talk with Cecilia. Cecilia tells them about all the things she's done in the past days. You know, there was the rocket, the rocket went to the moon, or the, the moon, the moon, the lion went to the moon and came back and the, and the shield was in the rocket, and the rocket, and the red rocket. But, as we already know, she's not that good at talking yet. Her grandparents have no idea what she was talking about, but they love her deeply. So what do Noah and Cecilia need? They need a way to send this rocket and reach Cecilia's parents. They need a way to reach Cecilia's grandparents and the broader family. And, especially Noah, he needs to send this rocket to his college so to share his creative work with other teachers and vice versa. No more lonely late nights for our teachers. Luckily, Noah is walking around and finds his friends L and S on the street. He tells them about this problem and they have an idea. They go straight to work and a couple of late nights and coffees later, they call Noah. Mate, I think here is something that will help you and Cecilia. You'll need a computer in your workplace, a very simple and inexpensive device that we built, composed of two planes and a webcam, a computer in the classroom, and a connection to the internet. We know you already have all that in your classroom. Then, whenever you create a new class activity, you fill a very simple questionnaire. What's the name? What are you planning to teach with it? What do you need to do it? And some instructions. After your students finish the work, they can themselves, and they learn to use computer doing this, take pictures of it. And by just clicking one button, voila, it's on a website. This is connected to a database, so it's actually not only in the computer, but in the World Wide Web. So, how does Cecilia's life look like now? Cecilia gets home and starts telling the usual stories to her dad. A lion with a rocket head. No, the rocket head, the lion had a rocket head and the rocket head went, and it went out and then the shield was in the head. But the dad now tells her, are you talking about that fantastic silver rocket you made in class yesterday? Noah sent me the link. Cecilia is delighted to see her dad already knows her work. The dad continues, Yes, your work is on the internet. Come with me and let's send your grandparents a nice letter. They sit in the computer and choose what pictures to send to the grandparents in Mexico. The system prints and sends the pictures wherever you need, automatically. Now, on Friday, the phone rings. The grandparents get it and they can talk to Cecilia. However, now they can see what Cecilia is talking about. 
What is this nice silver rocket? And what is this blue ribbon on it? Of course, they love her as much as before, but now they feel they are sharing more and being more part of her life. And what about Noah and his colleagues? He is planning next week activities, like many of his colleagues. They are all over the US. They don't know each other, but Noah posts the result of his rocket activity online. Another teacher sees it and thinks, hey, this is a very good idea. Other two teachers see it too, and they are very excited about it. Especially because they were teaching history of space and just did an activity involving astronauts. The other teacher remembers one activity about the planets that turned out to be pretty good. And then Noah himself remembers a wonderful book about space that his students enjoyed greatly. In no time, they have just collaborated in creating a whole unit dedicated to space. This is Cecilia again. These are Cecilia's parents. These are Cecilia's grandparents. This is Noah, Cecilia's teacher. These are L and S, and they don't even know Cecilia. And these are Cecilia's bigger family and all the teachers around the US. We all agree that we are doing this because we want to show Cecilia that we care. We want to show her that we care for her work at school. And we want her to know that she can be whatever she wants to be, and that only the sky is her limit. But Cecilia disagrees. She thinks that now, with the rockets she's just made, her limit is way beyond the sky. 